Hello everyone, it's been a month again. And to really start off this video, I think I've discovered something revolutionary in plain crazy. Just a year ago, I've made a video diving into some testing, into gyroscopes, and to be honest, it wasn't really a gyroscope. Actually, the same thing with this crazy new idea, but it functions more or less the same as one. My previous version only acted as a stabilizer, so if you move forward, it stabilizes. If you move right, it stabilizes. If you move left, guess what? It's stable. So here I am in my own private server, and right behind me is the prototype I'm going to be showing you. So here it is. This is really meant like for zero gravity environments. And as you can see, this thing moves where I point. So this is going to be really useful in spaceships. Although this took me like two months to make. I know it looks very simple at first, but then I just did like some German over engineering and just, you know, screwed it all up. So this is prototype number one, and I am currently working on a more compact version. And I have done some extensive testing on this. So I tested it on a like spaceship rig. So we have this, you know, moving. So if I I, like go forward and just stop when I just point here it's gonna like turn in place so it's basically like I created the next uh shredder bug platform so this may be a problem and in this creation I actually made a small spaceship surrounding this module so if I click play right now you know just put the gravity slider to zero and it also turns, so if I just point here, it's kind of slow, which is the only problem with this gyroscope. The more mass you add to it, you know, the slower it is. I mean, that's quite obvious. So if I were to point at this mountain, and let's just, like, slightly increase the thrust, because the problem with this is that, like, the more you increase the thrust, it's harder to control. This isn't really that much thrust, and this is already having a hard time turning, so let me, like, decrease the thrust a bit. This is going to be really useful, especially for things like... I don't know, maybe helicopters? I also tried to solve the weight issue for spaceships using this design, and it doesn't really help at all, so I attached another hover part, like, to the rear. And it looks like, based on my observation, hover thrusters have this constant speed, so you're not able to, like, increase it, so this thing has a faster reaction time. Anyways, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Although, if you'd ask me, disliking it would not do anything, because YouTube is removing dislikes for some reason. And maybe even sub to my channel, and also also sub to my other second channel called Brixay2, and I will see you guys in the next video.